Hey guys, Chad Aspire Racing Heads. I wanted to show you something here. I get a lot of calls on what does it take to do a master for a CNC program. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do it and how it gets accomplished and then how the end result comes about. So this is a Dragon Slayer. It's an ass cast head. You can see here that it comes with a CNC chamber. You can see uh, I marked a throat. It's got a 1910 throat and a 208 valve, which is 91.8% less the valve stem. So you're probably right at 90.8. So they do a they do a kind of a kind of a trace CNC to size of throat, and they do it to the opening as well. Um, but this is what I did. So here, so this is the chamber that I'm going to send off to have digitized. So it's got a 50 degree seat. So I put a two 100 valve in it. So this is my, this is what I don't understand about this head is they put a big enough seat room in it. It's got a two 200 and a one 650, but it's only got a one 880 valve spacing. So it doesn't really need that big seat, but the reason why I'm going to do this is because it's going to be able to use a standard rocker. So that's something I think is pretty important. So you can see how everything gets sized. Um, you, uh, my typical valve job, it rolls right off the top. Uh, here's a short side picture of a, I'll give you the factory, then I'll give you what I've done. Let me get some light on it here. Okay, so here is a, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. There's this factory valve job or factory short side. So it, it's pretty wide. It's pretty laid back. So here's the one I'm sending to CNC. So it, uh, it's really wide. And you can see there's some epoxy on it. And the reason I do that is because it's a whole lot easier. It's a whole lot easier to shape the short side. So it'll be gone when it comes back and um, it'll get fixed and you'll never know it. Um, fighting this light here hold on so you can see you can see here I uh, there's a shot of the port window holes exposed you can see right now I've got the I, I broke through so I push it as far as I could push it so this will get welded after it's digitized you'll never know it but right now the push rod pinch is 1250 by 2240 minus the corner radius is about 2.7 square inches. So that, that's really pretty good. I mean, it's, I got enough. It's a 1207, uh, but that's basically how it goes about. You, you take an ass cast head, you do your thing to it. Uh, as I've said in the past, I have Jason at Performance CNC do all my stuff. A really, really good CNC guy will not lose you any airflow over a master. I've had stuff come back from Jason better. Surface is important. He can straighten walls. He can actually find you some area because of the way that they, the port gets scanned. He does some measuring. So the port will come back and his CNC work is really nice. Um, but this is, um, it's a really nice thick casting. There's just some things I don't understand. Um, I don't understand the seat ring situation. Uh, so a two 100 and a one 600 and then and then we could go with a bigger intake valve, but then have to cut down exhaust valves. And I nah, just don't like doing that. But uh, so let me take you over to the flow bench and let me show you, uh, let me show you the flow curve. So this is on a 4155 fixture. It's a uh, two 100 valve, move some air. Uh, right now, currently a velocity through the push rods about 310 at 700 so if you take that 326 times uh what i see with my pitot tube which is 22 inches uh which is 310 on a regular water manometer or the electronic manometer and you do the math it comes out 310 feet per second through the pinch and in my opinion it's absolutely perfect uh, another thing too i'm gonna straighten this real quick on a conventional head the short side height is key you want it low you go low, you kill apex velocity. You don't have to raise the roof. That's the wrong way of doing it. Can you get it too low? Absolutely. You can get it too low and you hurt your bottom numbers. Then the fuel will separate. But if you find that balance between the height, you won't. It'll make more power. We do it all the time. Super stock head is a prime example. 
prime example. 172 cc's flows 265, 270, and they make 650 to 680 with 10 to 1. So it, it's all in the short side speed, all in the short side speed. The push rod pinch is along for the ride, absolutely along for the ride. There's the exhaust port. You can see how much bigger I made. I made it into a traditional D port. Just kind of followed the, see the back of the back of the bowl. It's got a 45 degree seat on it. If you roll it over here, you can see how I worked the short side on the exhaust. But, but this, um, it ought to be back in about a month. Uh, so I will have a, uh, I don't know exactly how big CC wise it is, but I'm sure I gained some. It's probably in the mid to high 240s. So, uh, but I just wanted to take a time and show you what I do. So when this comes back, this port will get digitized. The rest of the ports will be cut. They'll all be 100% the same. Um, it's the way to roll. Um, I've got a lot of programs, like I've said. Um, if you're an engine builder and you wanna do something for your shop, uh, give me a call. Uh, there's a couple ways we can work it. But uh, for the most part, um, it's, uh, it, it's just the way to do it. I still believe in Pitot tube, flow bench. Um, I know CFD, um, I'm traditionally old school. Uh, we've had great results. If anybody follows me and knows what I do, you know the kind of results we get out of this shop. Um, I'm just a small little shop in the middle of Kansas. But uh, it's a passion. I've been doing it for uh, 18, 20 years now, full time. Um, get to work on cylinder heads all day. It's never a job if you love it. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to holler 785-623-0963 and uh, have a good day.